Hello, welcome back. So I made a huge mistake. I accepted a bloom spawn mission while my Grey Knights are level 2 and I also accepted win the mission without using willpower. Which is the worst combination ever because now I don't have any way to actually attack or kill them. Oh, and we have the reinforcements over there. So let's just wait until they leave. It's kind of important that you scout the area before you enter the place and, you know, give the enemies a chance to leave. Uh, it's kind of bad if I enter this turn, so I don't know. I might wait another turn, maybe. That will make us smash the gate, and I don't want that. Seeking the tainted. What is your will? So it's pretty important to check if all of your weapons are fully loaded. Moving out. And it's also pretty important to see if your heavy guys can join the combat. This commander. Unleash me. Probably this guy should go over there. As you command. Because this guy will shoot anyone that you shoot yourself, so I don't think I can do anything more than this. It's it's a stupid thing, I don't know. The game needs some balancing, especially the first five missions need to be balanced. Because your level two or three grey knights cannot handle all of the all of the advanced tactics the enemies have, so it's a weird thing. Your first missions will your first five missions will be terrible. You have no chance of winning, but the next after those ones will be easier, much easier. Especially if you unlock the teleport, the gate of infinity, and many other things will be easier if you just Your command. I guess it does not much I can do about it now. Let's try our best. The unfaithful are here. Ready because yourselves. the enemies have a lot of grunts, all of them have guns, they have two heavy stabbers, they trigger an another rift to some reinforcements, and even more, the enemies will have their first turn when you enter the, the place, so that means they'll start overwatching and hunkering down, which is terrible. I see the foe. This, this is a no-win situation for everyone. So, I am here to serve. Probably the best I can do I in this situation out. is make this guy come over here, throw a grenade, and possibly hit three of these guys. Uh, I think we'll if we destroy that, it will also burn them a little bit. Maybe let's see. Eh, no, it didn't burn them. Get out of there. Hmm. I could attack this guy in melee. That would be a good idea, probably. Oh yes, please. Okay, so one down, five more to go. Standing ready. As you will. So we have to destroy this cover as well. I don't know. There's just too many good things happening for the enemy. They have a lot of cover. They have more troops than you. They have more range than you. They have more damage than you. You have these indestructible things. You have the priest that can heal, mutate or whatever. You have the warp surge which might give them reinforcements or might mutate them to have them more range and even more damage on their guns. You don't have a shorter way of approaching them, you cannot really flank them because the enemies will always be in the middle over here, in the actually in the middle, in the back. So if the enemies were over here and you smash the gate and they are over here, that would have been perfect. There are patrols all over the area, it takes you such a long way to get here, you'll fight at least two enemy groups, if not three or four until you reach this place. There are one million things that I don't like about the mission. If you use your grenades to push the enemy back, that's actually helping them because the further away they are from you, the better. Blessed are our arms. Yes, Commander. And at this point, grenades don't really help me. I guess I could send him over there, but that doesn't help me either because I need the big guy to be in the middle where I can kill everyone. 
Well, if you can go that far away, do it, I guess. Ah, almost got a kill. Almost. Well, that guy is stuck at least. That guy is stuck. So two of them are stuck. Those guys will shoot at me. Here. So what can you do with your remaining grenade? I guess I could kill these two guys, possibly. Not really. Possibly, but not really. I guess I can save a game again at number 4. No, I cannot kill them with a grenade because they have... 5 HP remaining, so my final grenade is not even worth using. I guess I can kill this guy. He should shoot him, right? Yes. Glory to Zyphos. I can also shoot that other guy, but he has 8 HP, which will not kill him, and the other ones are not, not in the range of the... Hmm... I could kill this guy, but I'm not sure if it's worth it because he's armless. He's disarmed. <laughs> I could kill this guy as well, but I don't. He'll just punch this guy for a little bit of damage, so he's not really a threat or anything. I guess my best option would be to fish for a critical against this guy, but he's too far away to shoot at. Yeah, weird situation, isn't it? Ordered. I guess we can put him over here and then pretend we know what we are doing. The pain will set you free. That didn't work as intended. Yeah. Cannot even shoot at these guys. Cannot even use this thing. Okay, let's reload a little bit. I, I'm not sure what to do with my last move. As you can see, I have disabled most of them and I still have a grenade remaining. I'll still take a lot of damage and I'm not sure if I can end the fight next turn before the reinforcements get to me, but... We will try our best. I think I've been playing this mission for about one hour trying to avoid enemies. I still fought two enemy groups. Which was not particularly easy, because again, we cannot use willpower and most of the Grey Knights are level 2. So I guess My your best option at this point is to try fish for a critical hit. I guess if I cannot kill anyone, I might as well take some wounds off this guy. I am his will. Yeah, he gets knocked down. This guy is way too strong. strong. Keep your faith. The developers should look at this again, look at this. 18 HP, 9 armor or 12 armor, so that means 30 damage in a single round and he has 11 wounds. They should either reduce his wound number or reduce his armor to half, maybe, I don't know. Oh, I can get another shot? Okay. And then it's run, worth it. Run, run. Get punched? Yeah, that's that's a bad idea. His faith was lacking. He'll shoot at me from that range. Die, die, die. Oh, he suppressed me. That's interesting. Glory to Zyphos. Die. What are they doing? Die. Oh, they're going for the big guy. Okay. And he'll just attack me. With for a lot of damage. Naturally. And then the reinforcements will spawn. And there are four little guys with guns. And the warp sword will mutate them. Look at this. They will be mutated. More damage. Heavy stubble range. Plus one damage. 
Oh, resistance. Yeah, and this is why he said this is overpowered. He recovered all of his armor and some other stuff as well. Your orders. So I'm not sure how to approach this. Your orders. I can get the shot off here. He has 9 wounds left, so that means I need to hit him 9 times with stuff. I think he loses My 1 wound if he gets everywhere. shot by that guy as well. I don't know, let's, let's try. Ready. I'm not sure if it's in... Uh, it should be in range. I'm running out of save slots to be honest. So I guess that doesn't decrease, yeah, it doesn't lower his wound number. Well, that's an extremely bad time to reload. I guess if I use the grenade, I'll inflict a wound on him. I mean, a, a stun on him. I don't even know at this point, yeah, just use it. Wounded. I don't think the enemy is as wounded as we want to think he is. Opening fire. Ammo depleted. You as well. Everyone has to reload in a critical moment. Emperor. Tell me you can shoot them. Yes, you can. We bring death. Ah, yes, rearming is a problem. So as you see, the problem is we don't even have enough ammunition to do it. Maybe we'll get a lucky critical. We did get a lucky critical. I guess we can save over here a little more. Yes, yes, he'll get shot again. Zero. So we should be able to execute them, right? Right. Good uh, the source of this corruption has been cleansed. So that's the only way to do it on legendary, I guess, without using willpower even, with level two grey knights. Man, it, it takes a long time. So I guess there's a lot of tips you can use. So grenades to disable them, throw them as far. I mean, throw them as far away as you can from yourself, and then. Have your melee specialist as close, close as you can to him. Don't try to waste time with the little guys because the priest or the priest will just do a lot of damage to you. And the warp surges will just buff the <laughs> little guys. They'll make them like plague marines almost with all of the mutations sometimes. So I guess some of that damage was unavoidable but we get 4 acquisition points and 10 servitors. And these guys need to rest. They performed miracles over here. Uh, let me see. So this is a basic one. Crit. Oh, it has plus 10 crit chance. I think I'll take it. I will take it. And I guess I need... What? Plus 1 ammo. You can find armors with plus 1 ammo. I don't think I... Found anything like this? I don't think I found armors that gave you plus one ammo. That's actually pretty huge. 
Oh, the night servo skulls have plus one ammo. But how does it work? What do they mean? The knights, I guess. What is this? Focus chance to trigger autos and cause affliction. Well, I guess I should have went for the knight slot. Or in the weapon slot, because the... The artifact slot seems like a bad idea, because I like using my grenades. So we'll get that one as well. 10 days, 27 days. Well, at least, okay, if they... Oh, look, look at their levels. That guy was, what, level 1? I like it when they cover up their wounds and they need the days to heal with their promotions. Oh, I can use hammer hand on him, finally. Now, I think the best way to do this is to go over here and you unlock these ones and then provoke. I don't think I can unlock provoke very soon. So that's one armor. No, I need to do this, otherwise I'm... Well, what do we have over here? Plus one more area. At range zero. I'm not sure how this works. I think beforehand you could cast it anywhere almost. At range zero. What do you mean at range zero? Anyway, it's important because that means they'll try to melee attack. And you know what? The other options are not very good. I mean, I don't want to shoot with them. Uh, so warp charge... Ability to have bleed will be important, but again, it's not so important in the beginning. So, yeah, let's select these ones. And that's about it. 27 days. Oh, only minus 5 HP. That's that's okay. And let me look at the, their armor. Well, I guess I should give the armor with extra ammunition to the Purgator. Rugen. Hmm. What am I thinking of? This is the purgator I wanted. Fool. Let me look at his abilities. What does this do? So. What am I thinking of? Well, I'm not sure. What was that his ability he uses to attack an area? Disrupt shot, scatter shot. Oh, it's scatter shot. Deal one damage per two ammo. So he has currently how much ammo? Four, five. So I guess that will not improve the damage he deals. Hmm, I should give him to him or to someone else. That, <laughs> this is my problem. I, well, I guess I don't really have anyone else to give it to. And besides, if he has a lot more ammo, so five shots means he can move, shoot, shoot for two turns. Okay, he deserves it. So does it show right now? I think it only show up in the mission. Or I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And what was the other thing I chose? Did I choose a weapon? Probably. Han. Yeah, I chose another storm bolter. Cybolt. Oh, I can add armor piercing to his attack. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, from what I remembered. You didn't have a critical attack, and that one was only 5, so this one is 10. Also, he loses the ability to deal damage, but he gains armor piercing. 
That's actually pretty important, so he can shoot very well now. That's actually a pretty sizable upgrade, because now we'll be able to kill armored enemies a little faster. Yeah, armor piercing is well done. Unless you have a lot of armor piercing, you cannot really ah. use it. And that also means I can I can give him a better ranged weapon. Which is this one, but he will not really use it. So now he can also shoot and attack very well. And that was not so bad. I guess I was a little scared, but it was mostly okay-ish. Where should I stay in? Till I get my next round of missions? Well, I guess I should probably go over here. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird mission. I only saved it for the last part. <laughs> probably I could have done that a lot better. Yeah. But hey, look at the bright part at least. I made it in a short amount of time. I guess it's more important for me to finish the game and reach a point where things become a lot more fun. Okay, we have the warp drive. So I guess you have to unlock reactor output number 2, but we need more servitors, so that means we just need to wait a little more time. I'm not sure if that's the right way to upgrade the ship. What else can I get? So we are finished with this part. Research speed. Well, I never like research speed. Exterminatus. Oh, we have two eh? <laughs> Exterminatus, okay. Commune the Phalum. This might be interesting. But I really want these ones, and for this I need the... Uh, yeah. Or should I just get the Prognosticar? I think I should just get the Prognosticar. Because that's a lot of time I will waste, unless I get it. And we'll have probably enough time for the next mission as well. Okay, that's decided. I still don't have a seed, because you don't get the missions with the seeds. And probably this time I can do this mission. And maybe that mission as well. I don't think I can do it, to be honest. This is a mission for acquisition without grenades. But it has seed. I think that one has bloom seed. Not again. No, no. It's too soon if I do another one like this. And they say the danger is low. So, yeah, I guess we can travel to this planet. It will probably be on the last millimeter, I will miss the second mission in the last millimeter. I guess the prognostic will help with this one, so I could potentially do two more missions with it. Unreachable in time, oh that's so sad. Maybe if I repair the prognostic card, okay I'll do this mission. Maybe if I can... Uh, we might be able to do it, I don't know. Depends on the bonus of the prognosticar. So the Grandmaster response is coming in 12 days, so by that time, I hope I'll have a lot more acquisition. I have one prognosticar, oh, okay. It takes a very long time to research the seed, doesn't it? Well, I guess that cannot be helped because of my... Yeah, okay, I don't know what's the best way to do it, but like I said, I'm doing my best. <laughs> so next time we'll do the entire mission, except... I think the Bloom Spawns missions are the longest, the hardest, and the ones that will give the most reward, but if you have something like this... It's super dangerous to do. It's super, super dangerous. See you next time. Bye.